I made a machine for brushing my teeth, a machine that puts ketchup and mustard on hot dogs for you so you can do four at a time. A machine for power napping so that I don't over nap. A Rube Goldberg machine uh, does a simple task in an overly complicated way. Like a ball rolls and it hits over some dominoes and then that'll knock over a bar. And usually they do something very important at the end like turning the page of a newspaper. makes the butter slide. Like how am I gonna roll something over there without it hitting my head? After I decide I wanna tackle a problem, I'll spend like an hour designing it or more, and then like a month building it. I'll roll over my head and then drop the ball out. It's an incredibly tedious process, uh, mostly because of all the trial and error and I do them over and over and over again until I get it working every time. Using everyday objects also helps a viewer understand. If they see a hammer start to move like this, they know it's gonna hit something. So you're, you're helping them understand what's happening. If I see that hammer going, it builds anticipation, especially if it starts off really slow and it gets faster and faster. I know it's gonna hit something and then when it does, it's really satisfying. I like to use rolls of tape because it tapes things, but also it can roll. Anything that rolls is just infinitely useful. Obviously balls are the ultimate because they can roll in any direction. They can go into things, they can go through things, they can be heavy weights. The hardest thing is going up, like things tend to fall downwards. So when you want to go up, you want to use things like string that you can pull and it'll automatically trigger something up high. I used once uh, a boiling kettle and the, uh, the water, the steam would go up into a sponge and then the sponge got heavier and that made something else happen. I don't just want to do the coolest thing I can possibly make. I want to do the coolest thing I can possibly make that someone else can understand and follow. Introducing the Stamp Licker. It's a show, right? It's like a performance. And so I'm always putting myself in the eyes of the viewer. I had a pet hamster that I used for all my machines. And I have a dog. They're useful because they behave in kind of predictable ways once you get to know them. My dog, I knew that if I hold something above him, he'll jump to, to try and grab it, especially if it smells good. And so I can use the jumping power to, to like make something happen. For some reason, as human beings, we're drawn to the idea of a playful machine. It's inherently absurd, but you know, humans aren't machines. We're naturally playful creatures. And I think that's why when we see a machine being playful too, it makes us laugh because we've brought it to life. Um.